Hi, welcome back. This is Kalo Gamer. It's time for a very brief gameplay video now. This one is Tatsujin on the Sega Mega Drive. Now this is the Japanese release. Uh, let's just take a shot at it. This game features some decent graphics, no parallax as such, but uh, features some nice detailed sprites. It's quite a bit going on, very little slowdown. It's a small bomb. It's quite a tricky little game, this one. So the gameplay looks deceptively simple. It's quite tricky. Lots of bullets flying around the screen. Not exactly bullet hell, but, you know. Still not a walkover. There you've got the blue lightning power up, you've got the green laser, you've got the red shot, which is just like a standard Vulcan weapon. I do like about the shooter, it features both the uh, airborne and land based enemies. Quite a few mid-level bosses as well, like these, these here. Ooh, pretty close. One more P, and we'll increase the weapon power. There you have it. And yes, it's one of those tower plan shooters that takes you back to nothing at all once you lose your power ups. Which can be quite punishing. At least you get your smart bombs restocked. Which can be some consolation. Not much. A little bit of slowdown going on there. Which you really think would happen. <laughs> Oddly. Missed my 
chance to get extra one up. Needed to be fully charged with the green shot. Really need some smart bombs here. I haven't put a lot of time into it, but I do like it. It's just got a genuine arcade feel to it. And that's Tatsujin on the Sega Mega Drive. Obviously, there's a lot more to it than that, but a brief gameplay video, that's all we're going to see. Thanks for viewing.